The word of encouragement, priests, without you priests, there will be no sacrifice in the Mass. And we Catholics, young Catholics especially, are truly grateful for the priests and what they do for us. You have our support in everything you do. We are praying for you and you keep us in your prayers, priests, and we love you always. God bless. Well, I think they're an excellent witness and we can really be inspired by their lives. I would say thank you for the commitment for um, giving Mass, um, saying the Mass. Um, the Mass has always been a good source of spiritual food and the fact that there's priests to saying it, um, it helps us a lot. And thank you for the commitment, even in early in the morning. And yeah, keep doing the good work. Praise God for you all. Their homilies are really great and really inspiring. Mm, they're good for advice. Um, and they're good for helping you with your vocation. Yeah, they're just um, really great people to have around and um, I pray that uh, God helps them in their, in their journey in life. Because it's not easy in this life to be a priest and it's hard enough to be a Christian, let alone being a priest. Um, they've got a very hard job um, to do and um, they need all the support they can get. I would like to thank God for all our priests because I got to, I've been going to uh, morning mass, daily mass since I was something like 10 or 11 years of age, um, health permitting, and they were always there at the same time. The, yeah, I, go, I want to go to reconciliation, the priest is there, and the, for their faithfulness to, to their duties, that just is their presence, but above all for giving us Jesus Christ because without the priest we would never have uh, the consecrated house, which we know and we believe that there's Jesus truly there with his body, blood, soul and divinity and there can't be anything greater than that, any gift greater than that. So I thank the priests very much, all priests, and I thank God for giving us the priests and may God give us more and more vocations to the priesthood life and religious life, married life in general, but especially the priests because without the priests we couldn't have marriages, without the priests we wouldn't have baptism, we wouldn't have reconciliation, we wouldn't have the Mass, we wouldn't have our Lord. Jesus Christ truly present in the Eucharist so thank you I'm just so overwhelmed and when I think of the priesthood and we pray for those priests that um, have gone astray but they will come back our Lord will bring them all back into the one fold to become good shepherds I'd like to thank thank you fathers for all your support um, for all your prayers for us and for the, the commitments that you make especially for holding the mess um, you know through, throughout the days uh, Monday to Sunday there's never there's never actually a time off for you guys so you know we just want to say that that you you are awesome you are awesome thank you um, I would just like to thank all the priests for the gift of their life and knowing that they have left all their families their countries to for God uh, it's a great witness and also for the service that they do for all the li the, the the Christian communities, so I will to thank them. I think for being men that I admire the most, um, they, they always know what to say and they always have the best spiritual advice, especially in confession, I've noticed. Um, also my own personal priests for spiritual direction. Um, I can ask them, I feel comfortable and I feel like I can ask them almost anything and they're always willing to answer. And their advice is always, is always practical and applicable in my own life. Um, yeah, as I was saying, also in the sacraments for, for being that role model of, um, of showing us who Christ is and what Christ in the, is and the power of Christ in our own lives and having him present, present in the Blessed Sacrament. Um, yeah, those are, I really do admire priests in my own life. I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to say that you've done so much hard work. You are wonderful men of God and we truly appreciate the sacrifice and the holiness that you have given us examples for. I also want to say, you know, sometimes it seems like there might be no hope for the future, but there is. There are so many young men I know who are choosing to lead the life you lead, so don't give up, and we love you. Um, thank you very much for forgiving my sins and celebrating the Mass. Really appreciate it. Okay, I'd like to thank the priest for teaching me about the Catholic faith, the Catholic Church, the tradition, how rich it is. Because I had a lot of issues, questions with the church, but now, thanks to the priest, I have come to know the tradition and some of the doctrines of the church. And now I've decided to stay in the church and I thank the priest because they did play a part in that, in changing my mind. And I appreciate it and I thank you and I hope they continue to do the work that they do. Thank you. 
Thank you very much for all the priests out there for really sacrificing your lives, being real men of Christ, um, for laying down your life for people like me, for the lay people, um, that you can, through your ministry, give out the sacraments and really give all of yourself to your people as Christ did. So thank you very much for that. I'd like to thank the priests for giving us the holy sacrifice of the Mass every day. To be able to receive um, our Lord Jesus Christ is just the most precious gift that anyone could give and priests just do a wonderful job um, giving up anew every day their lives to give us the sacraments and especially the Eucharist and um, yeah, just the source and summit of the whole Christian life. So thanks guys. Thank you for doing Jesus' work on earth. Amen. I really want to thank a particular priest who never gave me the stock standard three Hail Marys um, for, for penance after reconciliation. He'd give me really hard ones that I have to work on for at least a month and I really value that priest because only a priest that really loves me and, for my, and cared for my salvation would do that. So thank you. Thank you very much for representing us before God. I would like to say thanks to the priests for all the good work they do and all the sacrifices they make. Yeah, I'd just like to thank the priests for being uh, the instruments of, of God's love and grace in our lives. Uh, without them we'd have nothing, so uh, thanks very much for sacrificing your lives for us. And uh, keep it up. God bless you all. To all you priests out there, thank you for everything that you provide for us lay people. Um, it's a great work that you do to inspire us and help us to carry out our mission in the church, to be evangelizers um, and to be missionaries for our church. Thank you. I'd like to say um, a special word of appreciation to our, all our wonderful priests for what they do for us and what they give to us in the Holy Mass. Um, I'm always grateful for everything they do and they're so versatile. They can help you in so many areas in life. I just wanted to thank all the priests for all the work you do, just being there, especially um, um, at times of inconvenience to you, like just being just readily available for us to, um, to either just preach or to um, provide advice, and just give the sacraments to us. Just, it's, um, you're invaluable to the church, so just thank you so much. Um, I just want to thank the priests for really devoting their, um, their lives to Jesus Christ because um, without them the church is nothing and um, they're really true messengers of God to the community of Christian faith. I appreciate very much their uh, concern and care for the people and the, the work they do in presenting masses and the uh, wonderful sermons we get every Sunday. Thank you. Thank you for all the priests and all the work they've been doing and all the dedication and... Thank fathers and brothers and religious for what they have done in my life. For they have helped me quite a lot. But God bless and hope that we get more in the religious orders. Okay, I want to say thank you for saying yes, for putting down your lives and serving us, especially me. I love adoration and um, you guys do a great job and I'm praying for more priests because we've been more priests in Sydney. Uh, to all those priests out there that I've met and worked, uh, worked with, I'd like to say thank you for bringing Christ to me and bringing Christ to everyone they meet. Thank you. I want to thank all the priests for the excellent spiritual direction that they give during confessions. I would like to thank the priests for consecrating the Eucharist and allowing us to receive Jesus uh, daily and at the very least every Sunday. So thank you. Um, I'd like to thank all the priests, especially those I've, I'm working with in my parish. Um, it, they are a very good example here, especially in Sydney, to show that Christ is very much alive in the world. I mean, in a world that there's a lot of bad news, but here is the good news that's shining through. And I would like to thank you all for the good work, so keep it up. I'd like to thank God for, for all our priests, for the lives that they've given to us, their, their whole their whole you know, vocation, the giving of themselves to all the people, to all the church, to all the world. And um, yeah, and that's the greatest gift someone can give. So thank you to all the priests for that. 
I'd like to thank the priests because only a priest can consecrate the body of Christ, which is our Lord, and only the priest can give us our Lord, which is the basis of our Catholic faith, which is our basis for everything, and only a priest can do that. And it's the only way we can have our Lord, which is the greatest gift and the greatest grace. So thank you to every priest, whether you become a bishop or a pope, you are still the, a Christ on earth for all of us. God bless you and thank you. Right, I want to say thanks for the bringing Jesus in this world, bringing the body, uh, the body and blood of Christ to this ma to the masses. So yeah, thank you for that because it's been my strength for days to days. Thank you for the, all the priests around the world. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your commitment to pray for the world. That uh, if if the world without priests is nothing, nobody pray for us. Thank you for your time. Thank you. God bless you.